Hi guys, and welcome back to the kingdom. I'm the Duke, aka Dukenator. We are playing Valheim Misland, a Let's Build series. And I welcome you all to the third in this specific series. I have done some work offline, uh, off camera, as you can see. I've prepared uh, the ground a little bit for the main building that I've got in mind, that hopefully we will get to building today. And then also I've been mining some copper and tin as well. But we need the circling cores to make the furnaces and the kilns that will make us some um, coal. So that is what we need to go and do first. I've stocked up on some of my fire arrows. Um, so let's go and see what we can find. We need to find a crypt of course. Uh, that is where we will find those cores. Now my apologies for the previous two videos. It seems the quality was definitely not up to par. Uh, I, I really feel like an amateur again uh, recording gaming videos. It's as if I've forgotten all the settings and had to try and figure it out again from the beginning. But hopefully this one will be a lot better. As we uh, continue to search. You can see on my minimap the resources are popping up so that shows me where I can actually find some tin and uh, berries and copper and everything and it should also show me a certain core where there is uh, any of the crypts where I can actually mine it and so far I'm not seeing anything so let's move a little bit further into the dark forest Uh, there are blueberries, of course, so we can actually harvest them. That might be a good idea. There should be some of them around here somewhere. Here they are. Uh, they are stamina gives 25. Uh, the honey gives 35, so I'll keep with the honey. That's a better option. There's a rune stone over here. A long one. Let all who read me beware of the grey dwarfs, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rotten rainfall, the spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their ear eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst, which draws rocks and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the peat into flesh, braids, reeds into bone and takes rags for skin. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you who read this see one with a sword in your, to your hand, lance it and let it out. Or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. Okay, so it actually makes you feel a little bit better for uh, killing these things. There's some thistle as well. We might as well start harvesting and gathering thistle, as we're going to need it later. Okay, but still no sign of any crypts for us to explore. I get the feeling it's going to be on the other side of the river. Yeah. So let's make our way across the river and see if uh, there's anything good on the other side. Ah, there we go. One just popped up on the map, a circling core. So we'll be heading that way and pick up some carrot seeds on the way as well. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I'm going to get wet now. Let's take some wood and stones with us. 
So then maybe we can create a fire to get drier quickly. Just want to make sure I've got enough stamina to get across the river. Oh, look at this copper sticking out like this. Some carrots. Thank you for the seeds. We will use them in our farm later on. And I believe this is going to be our first encounter with skeletons on this map. going to have to try and get used to fighting them like this again when you're used to just one hitting them and not even feeling the hits then it's something to get used to when they do damage again like this um, it's going to be dark inside but let's see what we can find like there's a door straight on to the right it looks open to the left is open this is also where we get yellow mushrooms I always tend to stick to the left when I go into these places oh dear a ghost ghost is bad sure how to handle this. Let's try the bow. Oh, it's almost one shot at me. This is a problem. Let's see if I can cheese them from up here. There we go. Seems like sh someone is shooting arrows at the door. Well, I'm not gonna open it now. I want to go in here. Keep left, always keep left. There we go, two cores, thank you. Some bones, which is important for us for upgrading some of our gear at this stage. And it seems we've got some more cores in here. Lovely bones are also very welcome thank you not sure if I'm missing something in here maybe some more coins doesn't look like it sorry about the darkness but uh, I really need my shield when I'm in here at this stage and even more cores wow Finding it very lucky in here, that's for sure. The yellow mushrooms gives 30 stamina compared to the 35 from the honey, so we will stick with the honey once again. Okay, so we are finished with the left, now we go to the center. Oh wow, one star skeleton and an archer to boot. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's close that door. Let's close the door for now. Uh, stamina. They're all stamina based. Well, I've got 12 certain cores, so I think what I should do... Uh, 12. That should be enough at least for one of each that I need yeah 
let's 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 um, not tempt fate and head back to our starter base so we can get uh, this copper and tin running. I'll bring you back when we are back there. Okay, and we are back. I also got some tin along the way. So, there we go, 12 more of that. Let's see what we need to build this. That's the wrong one. Stone and stone. Okay, I've got plenty of stone. I've been gathering resources as well. Stone should be enough. There's more stone over there. I've got some wood in there as well. And some other resources and food that I've been stacking on, up on. Okay, but let's see. I'm just going to pick a temporary spot for now because I want to try and see if I can uh, build from this building, the starter base, main building, maybe out to the side a little bit and see if I can put it there. But for now, let's just... Uh, get it out here so we can use it there we go and this one as well let's put it on the other side thank you and we will start with the copper I think can only do 10 at a time there it's gonna be a little bit of a slow process until I've got some better gear there we go and I'm also going to need to wood um, let's just put some of these resources in their place. Uh, dear. Uh, feathers, coins can go in there, rubies, certain cores, the food can go down there. Uh, the stone. Leather, oh, that's full, so it needs to go in there. And the plants can go in there. The wood. Okay, now I needed uh, the bone for something, but I can't remember what it was. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, it's for upgrading my leather. But I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it though um, I think the next tier I can actually make it the forge oh yes I need it wood wrong place 25 okay and while we wait for that to finish, I think it's a good idea to actually build a proper starter base. Um, so I'm going to take this little by little. I've got an idea in my head that I actually want to try and see if it works. So let's see how it goes. Building. Around about here, I think. Okay. Let's go higher. Not sure if that is a circle. Oh well. One way to f try and find out. This is not the same circle, is it? Something went wrong there. So let's try this side. Yeah, that's better. That's where it's supposed to be. Mm. 
There we go. That's looking better. And now I'm suddenly wondering if maybe I should make this two wide instead of just the one. Uh, dear. And there are different heights as well. What happened here? Okay, I'm gonna keep this side, but I think I'm gonna double. This side, rather. Like that. There we go. Now all of a sudden it looks too wide. Now nah, let's keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. So what I'm trying to do is create a building with two halves with a walkway coming in through the middle. So that's on a level, that's on a level, then you have stairs coming up to this platform over here. With a half on this side and a half on that side. Uh, let's see if we can make that work somehow. Okay, so that's not going to work. And that is not going to work as well, it's going to stick out. I have to try something else. Maybe the smaller ones. Still sticking out. Over there. Yeah, still sticking out. So, what I'm going to try and do is maybe flip it around like that. Good. That seems to do the trick. Now let's try and recreate the same idea on this side. How did I... And suddenly I'm not sure how I actually did it. Yeah, that one works, but then... Oh, I see. It moved over, that's why. But at least that works. Now let's see if we can follow the side like that and keep the same idea on this side. There we go. There we go. Two halves. Brilliant. Let's cap that off. I'm gonna put two more down there. Let's see if the stairs actually fits in with the ground. It does. And to hide this a little bit, I'm going to These close these uh, off like that. And that. No, that one's wrong. There we go. That's better. Now the stairs. It's got two snap points there actually, but that's the one I want. Okay, and then I'm going to place two large doors. Hmm. 
Nicely done. Okay, so this is the entrance. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, make this storage space and this one as well, storage space. This is finished, so let's load this up so it can start. More wood. 25 to be precise, I've got 25. Uh, that's not the only wood I've got. I also stacked up here, which is a lot of... Um, let me see if I can show you quickly. Uh, inside of each other, so there's actually a lot more stacks of wood here than you can... than what it looks like. Okay, but let's continue with the main building. I was thinking of maybe some sort of window. That's a gate. This is a large window. I'm not sure. Not quite what I had in mind. So let's break that one up. Let's see if there's something else in the... Uh, Odin's Hammer. For a moment I forgot the name, sorry. That's a large window. Oh, this looks better. But if I'm going to use this one, then I don't really need that bottom part. Or do I? Uh... I definitely like the window more. Sorry, that's a world safe, so it uh, went into a freeze for a moment. I definitely like this window more, but now at the bottom it actually leaves that little bit of space open there. So let me see if I can find a way to close that off like that. Yeah, okay, that works. But do I want the window maybe across the stairs, rather? Let's see if we can get this one to snap next to that. I'll take that one out. Uh, okay, I've got multiple snap points here. Let me just see if I can get some clarity on where I want it to go. I suppose, uh, yeah, well, let's check the wall first, where that will go. Up there. So if I were to put it there and bring it over using that one as a guideline. And then bring up the window. I think that's my best bed is right over there. Yeah. That's looking good. I'm liking that. Now the question I have is how high is it compared to the walls? Two. Two walls. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Okay, but that means I'm going to move these two again to a lower snap point, that one, uh, and that one, use the wall, turn it around as a guideline, and then bring in the window. There we go. Yeah starting to like this already. Okay, now what I'm thinking of is... Hmm... Um, 
Let's place another wall here. And get some more wood as well. Oh, I'm gonna run out of wood pretty quickly by the looks of it. Copper is done. Let's put it in there, get ten more from here. And now we just need to wait for the coal as well. Okay. Uh, let's see how this looks. If I were to do something like this. Yeah, it cuts through the windows. Um, maybe if I use the one with a tighter angle. Why is this not snapping correctly? Come on, there we go. No, 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 no. Let's try something else. Uh, let's try these, let's see if this helps. Not quite. Well, if I'm gonna put it like that, I might as well just do it like this then. How does this look? Not really a fan, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it for like that for the moment and uh, continue with building the wall. I also need to turn my attention to the outside wall. The coal is finished, so let's just get this going again. Okay, so now in terms of this outside wall, I'm probably going to have to use this as a guideline. Yeah, no, 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 that's not going to look good. Um, the effect that it's going to have, it's um, if I were to, for instance, do this, then you can already see it's forming a whole unit and I don't want that. I actually want this to be separate, but oh man, that's going to stick through. It, it, it gives you, the game gives you a lot of freedom in terms of how you want to actually build or play something. You just hold in shift and you can free place it which adds a whole new dynamica to it, but you can also only do so much before you are restricted by style, I suppose. Or limitations to style. Okay, but let's get this wall in like that on that side and then this side a 
it's also starting to get a little bit darker so I'm probably going to have to uh, go to bed soon and then wake up the next morning I'll see if we continue can continue the build I, I can also use this for the workbench and the forge that's also an option that might actually be a better option come to think of it uh, if you close these doors uh, I'm also going to close them off like this no wait no wait 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 let's do something different than just normal walls uh, maybe next. And then the small one at the top again. Yeah, it could work. Let me put some light on the subject. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I'm still not decided uh, on what I want to do here at the front. But the rest is pr looking pretty good. Um, there was something else that I was thinking of and that is the trader. If, if I'm going to do burial chamber dowels and stuff like that I need to find the trader as soon as possible so let's see what of which one of these ships I can actually build definitely not the long ship I need iron nails for that the raft is not really an option the calf is 80 bronze nails that's gonna take a few more minutes before I can actually get the bronze for that the cargo ship, which is a very nice ship for transporting cargo, is a hundred nails. Iron nails, so not an option. Iron nails. The little bit is an option. Leather scraps and wood. Merchant, no, no. Fishing boat is an option. Fishing canoe is an option. Warship, no. So let's go with the little bit. Uh, that's eight leather scraps. I think we'll do that. Um, what I'm going to do is sail around the island, what it looks like I'm on. Maybe the one next door as well. See if I can maybe spot the trader. Uh, see if we get lucky.
Okay, it seems I found the elder where he spawns and it's actually right on the curse, the same with the Ichthyr one, which is quite fortunate. So I'm just going to activate this stone so it's now marked on my map. Brilliant. So as soon as I'm ready I can come and build a teleporter here somewhere close. Maybe inside that stone building over there that I can use uh, to come and fight him.
Okay, welcome back. Uh, the bad news is I did not find the trader, but it was expected, as I didn't think really that he would be on the starter continent. But the good news is I did find the Elder, which just like the Ichthia uh, boss spawn, was right here on the coast, on the edge as well. I did get to see the outline of the island that I'm, or the continent that I'm finding my own myself on um, so that's not too bad I think I'll have to expand my search for the trader and I was thinking of heading west um, I see there's another island or something over there that seems to be big so I was thinking of going that way and then maybe move all around this way again and see if I can find the elder maybe on the edges uh, around my continent but that I will probably do offline, uh, so that we can concentrate on building, uh, rather. Uh, but thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this. Next time we will finish this. Uh, see if we can uh, get some something done, finally done. Um, because the, the weather is also get it, putting a stall on, on, on it. Also, I'm doing some more copper and tin to see if we can get some better gear as well but as i said that's going to be it for this episode thank you for joining me please like subscribe leave a comment if you want and i will see you next time enjoy